A number of years ago, I heard a friend of mine, Clarence DeLoach, preach a sermon that he called The King's Highway. That title comes from the book of Numbers, where the writer said, We will go by the King's Highway. We won't turn to the right nor to the left until we have passed the borders. That's chapter 20 and verse 17. The lesson I heard, however, was about a different highway. It was about the highway that Jesus talked about in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. You remember the passage where he said, Enter in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. From this text, the following observations were made about the journey that one takes down the king's highway. Uh, first of all, there's a decision that has to be faced. You know, there are only two possibilities. You can choose to follow the broad way or the narrow way. If you stop and think about it, we often divide men horizontally, don't we? He's an athlete, a successful businessman, a parent, a taxpayer, and on and on. And yet God divides man vertically. You're either on the right hand or you're on the left. You're either going to heaven or you're not. You see, you have the freedom to choose the direction that you want to go. And then second of all, there is a direction to follow. That gate is straight, S-T-R-A-I-T, and the way is narrow. Now, straight and narrow describe the direction that God wants us to take. These terms literally mean difficult and rigid. It takes discipline to follow the righteous path. And it takes discipline because it's a different way than the broad way. It's a different source and follows a different course and ends a, in a different conclusion. And though this way is disciplined and different, it's also delightful. Delightful because it's Jesus' way. Delightful because it's the heavenly way. And then there is a destiny to find. You know, every road we travel leads to destination. The broad way leads to destruction but the narrow way leads to life. Someone asked this question, when I get to where I'm heading, where will I be? Both roads are heading in different directions. If you keep following the way you've chosen, where will you end up? Are you on your way to a destiny of eternal destruction or are you on your way to eternal life? Today you're going to be faced with a decision to make. The decision is going to determine the direction that you'll follow. And the direction you follow will determine the destiny that you find. I hope you have a great day. Make good decisions, and may God bless you.